Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you're having a great day coming from wherever you are in the world. Aaron Judge is the sexiest man on the planet, apparently. According to People.com, they put him number four in the world. Number four sexiest men in the world. So that means he's the sexiest guy in Major League Baseball. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. But the real Aaron Judge news is the fact that he was caught walking into a, a hotel or some kind of place, nice fancy place in San Francisco. Aaron Judge in San Francisco, what are you doing in the city? <laughs> I'm just visiting some family and friends. That's about it. That's about it. Oh, yeah? Any fun plans? You got something. Have a good one. You too. Now, the woman who was playing the video, who was recording the video and talking to Judge, it seemed kind of suspicious, like she kind of knew about it already. So, I don't know, it, it kind of seemed planned out. But at the same time, the bottom line is Aaron Judge is headed to talk to the Giants. He's not heading, you know, he's not signing there yet. He hasn't signed a contract yet. He's in San Francisco, or at least was in San Francisco, and met with the Giants, talked a contract offer with them. Now, the Giants, they have made it clear that nobody is really going to stand in their way when it comes to giving a contract away to judge they or really anybody they've made it clear that they want to spend the giants need a hitter they need someone who is going to get a big thump in that lineup because the giants they actually have good pitching they have a really good rotation solid bullpen camilo Doval at the back end they actually have some good pitching but what they need is something in the lineup like a th big thump in the lineup i wonder if there's a guy out there who could do that yeah well it's aaron judge okay. i mean this isn't rocket science guys like he can hit he's gonna help out wherever he goes whether it's new york whether it's san francisco if he went to tampa he'd help them out too but the giants are a team that actually need a guy like aaron judge you know there's some teams out there who don't like the dodgers right they've been linked to to aaron judge as well but they don't need him they the dodgers do not need aaron judge what they need is to win in october really i mean they don't really need anything else uh they, obviously they'll go out and get some pieces and i think there's some things that can maybe help maybe some small moves that we don't think are going to do much but at the end of the day they're going to help them out but anyway back to the giants they need aaron judge they need a guy like aaron judge and if they're willing to dish out the brinks truck for them i think that'll be really good for that franchise and for that team obviously the power numbers might go down a little bit if you're aaron judge playing in san francisco but you know i, I think overall he would help that team out greatly. He would help out a lineup that really, really, really needs a power bat. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Aaron Judge potentially signing in San Francisco. If you think he will sign in San Francisco, if you don't think he will, if he's going to stay in New York, if you think he's going to go to the Giants and maybe be, become a bust. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Next up, we got the Comeback Players of the Year Award going to Albert Pujols in the National League and Justin Verlander in the American League. What in the 2011 is this? Now, obviously, they both deserved it. Albert Pujols and Justin Verlander are two guys who are stars back in the day, right? They're still stars to this day. And Justin Verlander just won the AL Cy Young Award. Albert Pujols had the year of his life to end off his career. I wish we were seeing Pujols play a little more, but it is what it is. I wish the Cardinals were able to maybe go a little further. I think we kind of were all wishing that. Obviously, the Phillies run was fun. It was nice. It was it was fun to see them do what they did, but I still think the Cardinals potentially going further in October would have been really fun with Albert Pujols and you know his last hurrah, whatever. But overall, I think this is great. I think this is really cool to see. Obviously, two veterans, two guys really at the age of 40, uh, getting it done, doing their thing, and they win the Comeback Player of the Year award, so shout out to them. Now, next up, we got a little more serious but interesting of a scenario of a topic that i'm going to cover that nobody else is covering nobody is covering this and i don't blame them it doesn't matter what youtuber you are if you're a baseball youtuber or a youtuber in general you know that a lot of people are going to try and stay away from this topic and it makes sense right especially since this, it doesn't really have much to do with baseball at all but i'm going to cover it because it kind of does a little bit to do with baseball i'm going to applaud tommy fam Tommy Pham recently put this out on his Instagram story. Now, this is a tweet that talks about Balenciaga. Now, Balenciaga recently put out something that was very inappropriate. I'm not even going to really talk much about it. It's not really something I want to get too deep into, but the bottom line is it's wrong what they did. It was wrong. The apology was, it didn't really seem like an apology. And Tommy Pham is out here He's sharing posts in opposition to Balenciaga and what they did. And not a lot of people are doing that. Not enough people are doing that. 
And why do you think that is? I don't think a lot of players or people even know about what happened with Balenciaga. You know, there's a lot of things that go trendy in our society today. And this isn't one of them, unfortunately, because it looks like the higher ups, the media, it seems like they don't want to cover it. But Tommy Pham is one of those guys. He's a baseball player who is going to voice his opinion on it and on a number of other topics, but especially the Balenciaga issue. He's really the only player I've seen do that. Now, maybe there are other players who have done it that I just haven't seen. That could be a possibility, too. I've seen Tommy Pham. I follow him on, on Instagram, on Twitter. That's really all he put on his Instagram. But I think that's more than what any other other player has put out there now i'm not calling out other players i don't think players necessarily need to or should necessarily even cover this because they should just stay out of the drama and just post things that are non-controversial not that this is controversial if you look into the balenciaga issue but tommy fam i applaud him for speaking out for at least just posting something about it i think it's a really important issue that we should all be more known about and i'm going to put the link um about the balenciaga issue down in the description below i'm going to put it in the description below so check that out if you want to know more about the story but basically i just applaud tommy fam about what he did in support of being against balenciaga and their kind of weird thing that they did so let me know what you think about the three topics i talked about in this video well four judge is a sexiest man a lot that was just kind of a segue to get right into the real topic so anyway let me know down in the comments below like this video subscribe thank you for watching and as always i'll see you in the next video